Welcome to another Stock Market Weekly Update. Today is May 25th, 2019. The stock market had another down week. Dow Jones down the least, down 0.68%, and the Nasdaq down the most. Last week, it was down 2.7%. The index future also were down, the ES down about 1.07% and the NQ down 2.61%. Before I continue, I'd like to ask you to click the thumbs up if you like the contents in this video. If you are not a subscriber on my YouTube channel, click the subscribe and the notification icon to avoid missing any future videos. The S&P 500 came back down and tested the 2816 support again. We'll be watching to see if it bounces back up above the uh, 2860 resistance. If it failed to get above the 2860 or bounce off to the 2816, then the potential support at 2738 is in play. And also notice this uh, uh, head and shoulder pattern here. People will be talking about this potential head and shoulder pattern in the coming week. Just be uh, aware of that. And the Nasdaq 100 is still holding the 7205 support. We'll see if it could get a bounce up to the 7505 resistance. If it cannot get back above the uh, 7505 resistance uh, and breaks below the 7205 support, then we'll be looking at the 6836. Now let's take a look at some other market here. Looking at the crude oil market, the crude oil broke the uh, $60 level last week and it finished near the uh, 58 support level. And we'll be watching to see would it be able to move back up above the uh, 60 level in the coming week. If it's not, then uh, we'll be watching the uh, 55.46 support area. And gold had a nice bounce off the 12.69 support level and it is bumping up against the declining trend line. If it could break this uh, declining trend line, then look for a possible move up to the uh, 1325 area. The semiconductor sector continues to fall. It came down to the 99 level that we were watching. We'll see if it get a dead cap bounce back up to this 104 area, then we soon it slide down to the 89 area. Now the financial been chopping around the upper half of this trading range and between the 50 and the 200 period moving average, we'll be watching for a potential move down to the 25. Look for additional video from me later this weekend. One will be on the semiconductor stock, another one on NEO and Tesla. NEO is scheduled to report earnings before the U.S. market will open on Tuesday. And if time permit, I will post one on the FANG stock, which cover Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. I will put the links of these videos in the description below or up here after I have posted them. So if you are a subscriber of my YouTube channel, make sure you have selected the notification option, then you will get notified whenever I upload a video. If you are not a subscriber of my channel, click the subscribe button and click the notification icon to get auto notification. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support. Have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend.